Welcome back, Duelists. Casual Duelist here, and today I'm going to have a nice little Ojama deck profile for you guys. But before I get to that, um, I'd like to thank this last week's winners. Uh, so for week five, our winners are Wolf the Cuber and Piths Attic. So please, guys, get at me at my email, casualduelist78 at gmail.com. Um, if you need a spelling, check the uh, the, me the the messages, the uh, the post comments. I should have already uh, uh, let you know on there. Also, um, if I if I maybe messed up and didn't do that, uh, the the information is freely available on my YouTube profile. You guys can go ahead and get that. Again, thank you guys so much. I'm gonna leave you guys up there, and I'm gonna punch the camera apparently. So. Let's get you guys an Ojama deck profile. So obviously we got Ojama Pink in Blazing Vortex. So what we're going to do is we are going to run double Honest. Uh, we are going to run triple Junk Synchron. And then we're going to get into the meat and potatoes with three Ojama Blacks, two Blues, three Greens, two Pinks, two Reds, three Yellows. Moving over to the spells, you're going to have a double copy of Air's Rock Sunrise. Single Monster Reborn, three copies of Jama Country, double copies of Jama Delta Hurricane, double copies of Oja Magic, triplicate polymerization, single terraforming, double tri white, and then going off to the traps, we're just going to have you run a double Ojama Duo and a double Solemn Strike. So, again, this is kind of a mixed bag between casual and competitive. This is take it to your uh, locals type strength. It's a very fun build. Moving over to our extra deck, we're going to go through it, uh, Monster, Synchro, Xyz, and then Lynx, because we're going to be running all four uh, typings today. We're going to take a double king. We're going to take a double knight, easiest two, uh, easiest two to make in this deck. For our five-star Synchro plays, we're going to use a Frozen Fitzgerald, and we're going to use an Ally of Justice Cataster. These guys come in more handy than you will give them credit for. Our links are going to be number 96, The Dark Mist, and number 64, Ronin Raccoon Sundayo. Uh, very useful characters here. And then, of course, the link is probably going to be where we're going to bring most of the boom for this deck. So we're going to run the Apollosa Bow of the Goddess. We are going to run Barricade Board Blocker, the Boral Sword Dragon. We're going to have the Nightmare Cerberus, the Phoenix, the Unicorn. And uh, it wouldn't be Ochamas if we didn't also throw in Emperor um, as their link. So, if you guys were here for just a deck list, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I really appreciate that. If this helps you, if this is fun content for you, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Uh, definitely go tell your friends. And uh, I'll catch you guys on another video. So you guys have a great day, okay? For everybody else... Let's go back through this. Let's talk some of the strategy points and why we do what we do. So first off, the Honest is kind of a cool tech, seeing as every Ojama card is of light attribute. So uh, this is a very surprise hand trap for the battles. Um, and again, when we're using the Ojama Country, we have flipped the stats. So again, we're talking like King at 3,000, Knight at 2,500, the regulars are at 1,000. Uh, and then Honest's ability will let us always just overpower whatever the opposing monster is in the battle, whether or not we initiated that battle. Next up is the Junk Synchron. And again, this is here just, uh, again, you could do this for a Link 2 play if you needed to, because it's a Link 2 on 1. Or you could go ahead and you can sink into one of our two Synchro monsters. Again, very easy, just a two-card uh, combination to make either one of them. Um... And this is also a way to add uh, chaos into this deck if you really wanted to. And it's very easy. You just play more darks than I did. Uh, but definitely playing the Junk Synchron, definitely the Frozen Fitzgerald. Uh, actually, I think he's water, so maybe not him. Um, but this would allow you to drop in some boss level characters, whether it be uh, Black Luster Soldier Chaos uh, or the uh, Chaos Sorcerer, the uh, Chaos Emperor Dragon. I, uh, they're all legal right now, so... 
But the main effect here is when this is normal summoned, you can special summon a level 2 or lower normal, or sorry, that doesn't even have to be normal, level 2 or lower monster from the graveyard face up in defense with its effects negated. So it's just a, it's a quick sub and reinforces itself. And sorry, I have three different uh, rarities here. Normally I try to keep it copacetic and all the same. Again, we're going to run three of each of the original Ojamas because we want to be able to utilize the, uh, the Tri-White to build boards as well as using the Ojama Delta Hurricane to its best. And of course, that's why we have Oja Magic in the deck. So we'll just kind of breeze over each one of those as we go. But every base Ojama is a two-star light beast with zero attack and a thousand defense. That's, I don't think, ever going to change. So Blue's Effect, when it is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can add two Ojama cards from the deck to the hand. And this does include Oja Muscle, um, because it was like a mistranslation or something. Um, but it does say cards, so feel free to add your spell traps if you want. doesn't have to be just monsters. Uh, again, you could even drop him to a single copy if you're feeling uh, that maybe you want to play more pinks. Uh, I went with two. You could absolutely do three. This would be the spot to change. Uh, again, there's green, no effect. Pink, our new boy, a.k.a. Pepto-Bismol, or... As my teammates at uh, Duelist Alliance definitely pointed out to me after we taped that box opening, this guy looks like he's from Ozzy and Drix, uh, so Osmosis Jones. Uh, I like one of those little cell dudes, viruses inside the body. Uh, anyway, if this is sent from the hand or the field to the graveyard, you can activate this card effect. Each player draws a card, then each player discards a card. So that's essentially Dark World Dealing. Then if you discard an Ojama card, you can choose one opponent's unused monster zone, and it cannot be used until the end of the opponent's next turn. You can use this effect once per turn. So it's so it's it's like an extra built-in draw. You can absolutely do this and gain more advantage off of the spell card. Uh, where did it go? Oja Magic, because it counts as an Ojama card. So again, if you wanted to run pink and you wanted to do to run like a, a turbo for the king and the... Delta Hurricane, you absolutely could. I was I was sort of just building towards like the uh, the mid range here, so I went two on each of the effects and threes for the normals. Um, again, it's Ojamas; they're supposed to be fun. I mean, and then you got your boy Red. When it's normal summoned, you can special summon up to four more from the hand in attack position. So he's again really good at building the board. Uh, uh, and then again, you want him usually after you played. Uh, the Oge Magic, so. And then you got your yellow. Over to the spells, we're going to use the Ayers Rock Sunrise. Uh, we used this not too long ago in the Master of Oz deck because we want to target one beast monster in our graveyard, special summon it, which is any Ojama. And if we do all face-up monsters the opponent currently controls, lose 200 for every beast, plant, and wing beast currently in the graveyard until the end of the turn. The later on in a game against Ojamas this, that this gets played, like the stronger this gets. Now, I did borrow a copy of this the last time, so I'm you know limited to the two copies I do own. But two is actually a good fit for this build. And uh, there's absolutely spaces where you could also trade this out later. Uh, and then there's also Monster Reborn, because we're just going to be using it for the same reasons. Get back our cards and build boards. Uh, we got Ojama Country, great field spell. Uh, once per turn, you send one Ojama card from your hand to the graveyard to special summon an Ojama from the graveyard. Now, if for some reason you really wanted to summon Pink, but Pink was already in your hand and you already had another gra uh, another Ojama in the graveyard, you could do this because of like the uh, the ruling on it was Light Sworn Lumina. And uh, she's allowed, to, as long as there's a legit target at the beginning, you could discard and summon the same card, and Ojama Country is the same way. Um, again, this will really help you. Like if you're missing one of like the original trio, and you're trying to go for a king play, uh, that would probably be the best use for this. Uh, but this will let you dump your pinks and your Oja Magics to start playing uh, bigger effects, um, and also get those cards back from your graveyard and get those extra summons and start your loops there. Uh, additionally. Uh, while you control a face-up Ojama monster, you can you switch the attack and defense of all face-up monsters on the field. Uh, and the reason we played so Link-heavy is because Links don't have a defense to switch with, so that's fine. And the Emperor will uh, just gain 3,000 attack by his own effect, so sweet. Delta Hurricane, kind of fun, kind of terrible. I do believe, uh, since mine are so old, I do believe there was an errata for these. 
Uh, you can only activate this card uh, while Ojama Green, Yellow, and Black are all on your side of the field. Uh, destroy all cards on your opponent's side of the field. I think it's uh, you have to control them and they have to remain on your side of the field for resolution. Um, if you guys know, hit me up in the comments section down below. Let me know. Uh, but I do play a double of this because it is fun and it is very tech. And uh, you can actually get this off pretty pretty easily. And then, of course, there's my, my spell, Oge Magic, when this is sent from the hand or the field to the graveyard. Add one Ojama Green, Yellow, and Black from the deck to your hand. Um, we do have the triple polymerization because we got to put those fusions together. Terraforming, you could take or leave this card. This could easily be a Pot of Avarice. Um... Or one of a, another like half dozen good cards. But I was trying to keep this at a 40 card base. So this just helps out with the consistency for our field spell. Again, it's going to get targeted pretty rapidly. Again, because obviously we're going to be causing a stat flip. And that's something nobody wants to play against. But uh, terraforming will help you. Uh, but you don't you don't exactly need it every game. So it's it's good to switch out with. Uh, Try White, another one of those good cards that was kind of tacky, and I almost didn't want to run it at two. But because I'm playing more towards the Delta Hurricane for the casual build, uh, obviously I value my normal monsters. So the effect here is target three level two or lower normal monsters in the graveyard, special summon them, and this will allow you to board back uh, the whole trio. And then for our two traps, we're going to be using the, Od uh, the double Ojama duos. Uh, we're playing duo over trio because, well, it's easier to put two tokens on the, opposing, uh, on the opponent's side than it is to place three. But additionally, when those tokens go to the graveyard and they can't be tributed for tribute summons, uh, they still take the, the, yeah, 300 damage. And then uh, the real effect here for this one is during either player's turn, except the turn this is sent to the graveyard, banish this into graveyard and special summon two Ojamas with different names from your deck. And again, this will allow us to play other cards like Pink and uh, get get some real uh, plays off. And then again, of course, you know, Solemn Strike. We gotta we gotta be aware of monster effects and special summons. And uh, again, since I'm not really running hand traps outside of the Honests, um, you can expect that your opponent's going to have hand traps. And again, the Double Solemn uh, Strike will help you out with that. Moving on to our extra deck, we have the Double Ojama King. Uh, you do need one of each of the original, green, yellow, and black, to fuse up for this. Select up to three of your opponent's monster zones, and as long as this card's face up, they cannot use those zones. Uh, so fantastic. Ojama Knight, uh, just any two Ojama monsters, and uh, two zones this time. Uh, if you get them both off, then your opponent's left with just their extra zone, and that usually was, won't end up well. Um, again, Cataster, great Synchro. If this card battles a non-dark, destroy the monster without damage calculation. And Frozen Fitzgerald, kind of our tech choice here is a dark tuner and a, a non-tuner beast. Uh, if this card attacks, the opponent cannot activate any spell or trap until the end of the damage step. So sort of like the Ancient Gear monsters. And when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, while well, you control no monsters, you can discard one card to special summon this back from the graveyard and face up defense. Now, underneath a, the effect of Ojama Country, you're going to notice my attack and defense on this card are actually the same, and that's really the defining reason for why this guy got chosen. And it turns out I was right. He was water. I um, accidentally picked two cards there. So we're going to be reusing uh, the Ronin Raccoon again this time, and again, it's still uh, two level two beasts. Once per turn, detach material from this. Special summon a Kagamusha Raccoon token. Uh, with a question mark attack, level 1 beast to earth. Uh, when special summoned its attack, it immediately becomes equal to the current attack of the monster with the highest attack. My choice if they're tied. While you control another beast type monster, this card cannot be destroyed by a battle or card effects. So it's got its own little built in uh, protection. And again, his defense and attack don't really change. Um, we got Dark Mist. Again, better defense, three level twos, and this one's kind of tech because once the uh, once the Ochama country is on the field, uh, and we have stat flipped, any of his gains should go to what his is now attack. 
So if it does get popped, it'll go to his defense value instead, which is sort of confusing, but uh, he's still cool because once per turn, or sorry, once per battle during either player's turn, when an attack is declared involving this card and an opponent's monster, I may detach material from this, have the attack of the other monster, and give that to this card. Now that is permanent, and again, if they went ahead and they destroyed your drama country and then you play this, uh, this is a great way to use it straight up. But again, the other way around, the stats will flip and you will actually be starting with the thousand, except when your drama country goes, uh, all those gains go to your defense. So just be, just keep that in mind. Again, we're going to keep Apollosa Bow with the Goddess because it's so easy to generate so many different names with this deck. So we will be able to get the full, like, 3,200 uh, linked 4 power, which means that we will be able to stop 4 monster effects. So chain blocking for the win with that. Barricade board blocker here needs 2 monsters with different names and allows us to uh, <laughs> discard a card during the end phase of the turn, add a continuous or field spell from the graveyard to the hand, and you can only use that effect once per turn, but face-up spells you control cannot be destroyed by opponent card effects. He's really here to make sure that our country doesn't get damaged. So he's just blocking for our field spell. You do have the Boral Sword Dragon. Again, this great card. You want to use him for when you want to smash over and get through that game. I'm never not going to play the Nightmare characters whenever possible because they just do great effects. So let's just skip right over to the Ojama Emperor. So this is three beast monsters, including an Ojama monster, so we can actually use uh, uh, Sundayo and, you know, multiple tokens of his, or just use just the tokens, whatever you're feeling. While Ojama Country is in a field zone, this card gains 3,000 attack. It cannot be destroyed by card effects. Your opponent can, or you, sorry, your opponent takes any battle damage you would have taken from attacks on this card. You, you can target one non-Link Ojama in the graveyard, special summon it back. For the remainder of the turn, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except Fusion, which is a callback to the other Ojama monsters. And you can only use this effect once per turn. So once per turn, he's going to give you an extension and special summon cards. So let's be honest. If you use Knight and King, or you use Knight plus the Sundayo and the... Uh, where is he? Yeah, you can use the Sundayo. And the Sundayo's token. With the Ojama Knight, you could do the Link 3 straight into the Emperor and actually reborn back your Ojama Knight using this strategy. Um, and it's just brilliant. Um, as far as fun casual decks go, I think this is one of, one of my team's favorites. Uh, we always joke about them being little Speedo-wearing cannibals. Um... And pink, I think, is going to be a good addition, which should mean that it's going to be another year or three before we get another Ojama card, because that is Konami's real thing here. Uh, we don't get them all the time. We get them every so often. Uh, same thing with, like, skull serving cards. I know white baking was in this set, and I'm sure that we will not see another skull servant for at least another year or so. So I, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this deck profile. Uh, again, if this helps, you know, consider subscribing. Please tell your friends. Uh, the, the larger we can grow the community, the better. And when we get to 250 subs, which isn't going to be that long from now, I have a special deck that I've already pre-constructed, been testing, that I think that you guys are going to enjoy. It's a little on the uh, competitive side, but it's very budget. I mean, right now, I was able to purchase the whole thing for like $30. $30. Um, so that's fantastic, and I can't wait to show you guys. Uh, you guys just got to get the subs up, but that's not, let's not worry about that. Okay. Uh, I will see you guys with the next video and, uh, yeah, you guys have a great day.